say, and again, this has become very famous in this video, I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. Just kiss. I don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Grab them by the You can do anything. That's what you said, correct? Well, historically, that's true with stars. It's true with stars that, that they can grab women by the Well, that's what it's. If you look over the last million years, I guess that's been largely true. Not always, but largely true. Unfortunately or fortunately. And you consider yourself uh, to be a star? I think you can say that, yeah. This is Christopher John Bjorkness. It is May 6th, 2023. Today I'm going to be discussing the most important issue facing humanity. And that is uh, the contrived effort by Kabbalists to bring the world into a nuclear apocalyptic battle of Armageddon between the United States of America and Russia. They want us to mutually consume each other. Uh, they created the system of mutually assured destruction. And the Kabbalist Alexander Dugan has um, set forth a plan leading to the battle of the apocalypse. The Russian government is obviously fulfilling, deliberately fulfilling that plan. Uh, Donald Trump is working with a group called the Christian Nationalists. There are now several American politicians who identify themselves as Christian Nationalists. They promote Vladimir Putin and Russia over the interests of the United States. Um, before I delve more deeply into it, I want to thank all of you who have so generously contributed. You have made this research and this video possible. Um, I'm the only person in the world who uh, is explaining exactly what's going on with all of this and the Kabbalistic origins of it what it really means, what it signifies, what their symbols mean. And I'm extremely grateful to you for providing me with the opportunity to do this. Those of you who would like to contribute, there will be a um, link in the description below where you can contribute through PayPal. There are also um, Bitcoin and Ethereum links. Um, and you can visit my website, cjbbooks.com. Beneath each title, there are also uh, donation links. Again, thank you so much to those of you who have contributed. I wouldn't be able to make this video or any of the other videos coming up uh, were it not for you. Bless you. So, Christianity was always meant to be a trap and a Trojan horse. Christianity enables the Israelite demon god, Hasatan, Satan, to seize control of the Gentile world by posing as the foreign savior, Jesus Christ. The cross is secretly an analog to a fish hook. And I'm going to give you a lot of proof of that and uh, show you how that goes all the way back to the book of Job. And Jesus is the tasty bait that is dangling on this fish hook, luring in Gentiles to consume Jesus Christ's flesh and blood. Jesus is the serpent on the tree of knowledge, offering the fruit of salvation, eternal life, and forgiveness of sins in the form of the Eucharist. Jesus literally demands that you swallow the bait of his body and blood on the fish hook of the cross. Christian Zionists were duped into putting the interests of Israel above those of the United States of America and of Europe and the West. Christian nationalists are being suckered into placing Russia and Vladimir Putin on a pedestal 
and they are calling for the genocidal destruction of the West. Uh, Alexander Dugan and the Russian Kabbalists have duped uh, American Christians in the Christian nationalist movement into hating themselves and believing that the West is decadent and inherently evil and that the best thing that could happen to the West is for Westerners to be completely exterminated so that this um, supposedly moral and Christian and wonderful nation of Russia can rise to rule the world. Uh, just as Christianity teaches Christians that they are inherently evil and must die in order to be saved, Christian nationalists inspired by Russian Kabbalists preach that the West is evil and can only be saved through its complete extermination. I prepared a series of slides and I'd like to go through those with you. Um, this is not just the Russians. This is uh, primarily being orchestrated by Chabad Lubavitch and um, they have their hooks into Vladimir Putin and Donald Trump through his son-in-law, Jared Kushner, and through his long connections uh, with the Jewish community going way back, uh, which involved also his father and many of his business dealings. So we're being played by both sides. And Christian nationalism is a... Uh, subversion of the United States that is based on a religious mythology. That religious mythology goes back to the book of Job, which describes uh, two creatures who are destructive agents of God. One of those is the behemoth, which is a land animal, and the other is the Leviathan, which is a sea creature that lives in the seas, the saltwater seas of primordial chaos. And the uh, communists have picked up on this imagery to declare that Russia and what they call Eurasia is this behemoth who uh, is chief in the ways of God and will slaughter the Leviathan. The Leviathan represents Great Britain and America. Great Britain, of course, a great sea power, is likened to this um, sea creature, Leviathan, which is the devil. Uh, in the Kabbalah, he's referred to as Samael. He is Satan and what the Christians call the devil. So they are saying that the West is ruled by this devil, uh, Satan, that uh, the West is the Antichrist, and that in order to save the West, the West has to be completely annihilated and all Westerners exterminated. And um, they overlook the fact that it was chiefly uh, Marxists who were promoting uh, decadence and anti-traditional values in the West to set us up for this um, plan to falsely portray everyone in the West as if we are all uh, inherently evil, immoral, decadent, sexually perverse, etc. And nothing could be further from the truth. Uh, human beings are generally pretty consistent around the world. The West has definitely been under attack on our traditional values, but the solution to that is to simply restore uh, the greatness of Western civilization, not to erode, further erode and annihilate Western civilization. Obviously, um, these Christian nationalists are suicidal. They have been brainwashed by these Russian Kabbalistic uh, communists to seek to destroy us. They are a fifth column on our soil. They are a Trojan horse, just as Jesus Christ was always intended to be. So the book of Job uh, describes this behemoth in chapter 40 of the King James Version. Um, Behold now behemoth which I made with thee. He is the chief of the ways of God. Um, 
He that made him can make his sword to approach unto him, uh, et cetera, et cetera. The uh, Russian Kabbalists equate Russia and Eurasia with behemoth. In the Middle Ages, behemoth was equated with Islam. The Eurasianists want to unite with Islam against the West and use this massive force to uh, strike the West and destroy us and kill us off. Um, their highest aim is to instigate a nuclear war. We see the Russian government through its uh, state propaganda media outlets constantly calling for a nuclear war with the United States to kill us all off. And then here in America, the Christian nationalists talk about how great Russia is and how horrible the U.S. is. Uh, their chief aim is to destroy NATO, which is obviously only in the best interests of Russia. They are obviously a fifth column for the Russians. Their ideologies have been manufactured by Alexander Dugan and other Russians, the KGB, the FSB, uh, in order to play upon their Christian beliefs to make them believe that we should enter into an apocalypse. They are creating the mindset in the Christian nationalists that these are the end times and that um, it is uh, divine will that the West be completely destroyed and that we fight this apocalyptic war. Uh, prior to this, the Christian nationalists were always pushing for the idea that Russia is Gog and Magog and that uh, America has to strike Russia with nuclear weapons and annihilate it. And they have been conditioning uh, Americans and people in the West to have this apocalyptic mindset whereby all horrors will be viewed as if inevitable, as if part of God's plan and for the ultimate good. So they are uh, both the Christian Zionists who inspired the Christian nationalist movement and involved many of the same key figureheads are all working on the West to make us self-hating and to uh, destroy NATO and at the same time engage in an apocalyptic war with Russia. And then in Russia, Putin and the Chabadniks around Putin, uh, the uh, oligarchs are setting up the Russian people to demand also this apocalyptic, mutually destructive war. They openly admit that it will annihilate the Russians as well as the Americans, and they try to justify that as if it's the divine will. The uh, chaos magician Alexander Dugan, the um, Kabbalist that he is, again, put this into the Kabbalistic terms of a battle between the behemoth and the Leviathan. Uh, as I explained in my previous video, all of this relates to this great uh, banquet that the Israelites plan to have after the Gentiles mutually consume each other and destroy each other in this battle between Behemoth and Leviathan. Job 40 uh, refers to this uh, fish hook idea that the Leviathan can be caught with a hook because it is a sea creature. Canst thou draw out Leviathan with an hook or his tongue with a cord which thou lettest down? In other words, uh, casting out a fish hook and reeling him in. Canst thou put a hook into his nose or bore his jaw through with a thorn? They used to make fish hooks out of thorns. Will he make any supplications unto thee? Will he speak softly unto thee? Will he make a covenant with thee? Wilt thou take him for a servant forever? Jesus Christ is this Leviathan. He sent out his disciples to uh, be fishers of men and to draw men in with the fish hook of Christianity. Jesus is the bait on that hook. The hook itself is the cross. And the idea is to first convert Gentiles into slaves of Israel as Christians, and then ultimately to completely exterminate them. Wilt thou play with him as with a bird, or wilt thou bind him for thy maidens? Shall the companions make a banquet of him? They talk about how the Leviathan Jesus attended a wedding banquet 
And um, in uh, Revelations, there is the banquet of the Lamb where Jesus is served up. Uh, the Babylonian Talmud in Tractate Bhavabhatra 74b talks about this banquet where the behemoth and the Leviathan will be served up for the Israelites to eat, which is all a symbolic analog for the mutual war that the Israelites will provoke between behemoth and Leviathan where they kill each other off. And the feast is uh, the feast of those corpses and the spilling of that blood. Uh, Christians, he is king over all the children of pride that would be the Christians. So this whole plan to pit uh, two Gentile peoples against one another, being led by these monsters, Behemoth and Leviathan, was set down 2,500 years ago. And it is being openly advocated by the Kabbalist uh, Alexander Dugan, who has uh, framed it as if the Eurasianists in combination with the Muslims are this behemoth who is uh, right with ways of God, who obeys the Noahide laws, who is led by the Gentile version of the Messiah, son of David, versus the Leviathan, who is led by Jesus Christ in the form of the Antichrist, who appears as the suffering Messiah, Son of Joseph, Jesus Christ returned as the um, Messiah, son of Joseph, anointed for war. And they're pushing for, um, for uh, Donald Trump to play that role of Messiah, son of Joseph. They refer to Donald Trump as Cyrus, who in Isaiah 41, verse 1, was the anointed. Anointed means the Christ. And... Um, Dugan and others in this vein were inspired to bring uh, this symbolism into Marxism through uh, Thomas Hobbes' book, The Leviathan. Again, the suffering Messiah returns as the Messiah anointed for war, Messiah son of Joseph. He wears a triumphant crown instead of the crown of thorns. He carries Jesus' avenging sword and... Um, he is the Leviathan. He is uh, the devil. And he gains power over Christians by appearing as Jesus Christ as bait on the fish hook of the cross. And this is very, very ancient symbolism. And this symbolism relates directly to the story of Adam and Eve. The serpent, the Leviathan appeared on the tree of the knowledge of good and evil as its fruit. And he offered himself, his fruit, his gnosis, his knowledge to Adam and Eve, who then ate it and were cursed to die. So uh, Jesus is the return of that serpent offering gnosis, knowledge, through uh, the fruit of his body, his flesh, and his blood. His blood is the uh, fruit of the vine, which is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. His flesh is the fig. Adam and Eve wrap themselves in fig leaves. So the um, tree of the knowledge of good and evil has that dual nature of flesh and blood, as does Jesus, who is the soul of Satan, in the body of Eve. Uh, Eve impregnated Cain in the Garden of Eden. I mean, um, the serpent impregnated Eve to produce the child Cain in the Garden of Eden, and Gentiles descend from Cain. Uh, Jews believe that they descend from the soul of Abel, which was passed on to Seth and was the product of the mating of Adam and Eve. Here again, we see that same uh, symbolism. Jesus on the cross is the serpent, the Leviathan on the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The cross is a fish hook. Jesus is the worm, the snake, the bait that Christians swallow and uh, are cursed to death by swallowing that bait. Here again, uh, 
Christians are symbolic of Adam and Eve who are tempted to consume knowledge by the serpent Leviathan on the tree of the knowledge of good and evil that becomes Jesus Christ on the cross and Jesus Christ on the cross becomes the bait on the fish hook. This symbolism was um, openly acknowledged by Gregory of Nyssa and Origen of Alexandria in their ransom theory of atonement. And they said that uh, Jesus was given up to Satan as a sacrificial offering to Satan and that when Satan took this uh, bait on the hook of the cross, see the fish hook down here? That's part of the cross. When he swallowed that bait, it killed him from within. But this is all a secret code. Um, they obviously didn't want Christians to know that Christianity is a deception meant to kill off the Christians themselves. This Leviathan actually represents the Gentiles. And the Gentiles swallow the hook of Christianity and are cursed to death in the same way that uh, when Adam and Eve swallowed the forbidden fruit offered to them by the serpent, they were cursed to death. And that represent, is represented by the grapes through the wine of the Eucharist and the fig leaves of the fig tree as Jesus' flesh of the Eucharist, which is bread. This was um, presented in a manuscript that was drawn up by Harad of Landsberg, who was a 12th century nun who led a uh, nunnery and abbey in Landsberg, and she made this uh, manuscript, which I believe contains uh, codes. You can see... Um, this pre-Kabbalistic use of the Sephirotic vessels as the disciples, and this code of the Leviathan, which represents the Gentiles, the evil other side, the Sitra Achra, the um, Yetzer Hara, the evil inclination, and also seducing the uh, Erev Rav, the mixed multitude, among the Jews to worship Jesus Christ as if there's salvation who actually brings death. It is all a deception. It is all bait on a fish hook to catch the Leviathan of the Gentiles and to send them to hell. Uh, Gregory of Nyssa wrote, since it was not in the nature of the opposing power to undergo the unveiled manifestation of God, the deity was hidden under the veil of our nature, so that, as with ravenous fish, the hook of the deity might be gulped down along with the bait of the flesh. This is actually code for Christians consuming uh, the Eucharist and being damned by this... Um, this complete deception of Christianity. And the communists are aware of this, and uh, the Kabbalists are aware of this, but the Christians are not. In this way, he who practiced deception, uh, meaning Satan, receives the very same in return. He who first deceived humanity by the bait of sensual pleasure is himself deceived by the presence of the human form and whereas the enemy wrought his deception for the ruin of our nature, the wise one used his plan of deception for salvation. This is all also a deception to mislead Christians into believing that Christ is their salvation and that the human sacrifice of Christ was given to Satan in order to deceive him. But that human sacrifice was actually the sacrifice of a scapegoat, which puts all of the sins of Israel onto the Gentiles and damns them. And the Gentiles worship uh, this idol of Jesus, who bears the hair of the goat, the soul of Esau. Uh, with this deception of Christianity, they uh, curse themselves in the same way Adam and Eve cursed themselves when they gave in to the bait of the serpent. Omnipotent wisdom 
coming into the heart of the earth, was able to make utterly foolish that great mind which dwells in it, turning his counsel to folly and catching the wise one in his cunning, cunning as a serpent, and turning back upon him his clever devices. For this reason, having swallowed the bait of the flesh, he was pierced with the fish hook of deity, and so the dragon was caught with the fish hook, just as it is said in the book of Job, you shall catch the dragon with a fish hook. But this is all code. It indicates to the Israelites, and especially later the Kabbalists, that it is Christians who are being caught through the flesh of Jesus Christ, swallowing that flesh as the Eucharist, and being pierced with the fish hook of the cross, which represents itself as if the deity, that this dragon of the evil other side of the Gentiles is caught with this cross, and that it is then destroyed by it. Isaiah chapter 27 uh, verse 1 talks about this plan to ultimately exterminate the Leviathan, which is the Gentiles, the evil other side. In that day, the Lord with his sore and great and strong sword shall punish Leviathan, the piercing serpent, even Leviathan, that crooked serpent, and he shall slay the dragon that is in the sea. That represents the Gentiles who are in the sea of primordial chaos. Jesus Christ is this cross, which is a fish hook, and he is the serpent on that cross. Jesus is the serpent in the tree of the knowledge of good and evil that baits with the forbidden fruit of his flesh, which is... Um, consumed by Christians as the Eucharist in the form of wine and bread. Again, uh, this imagery, which is probably very shocking to Christians, um, is the imagery that Kabbalists thoroughly understand, that Christ is a fish hook that is baited, and that fish hook is meant to capture the Gentiles, and enslave them and ultimately exterminate them. And that is exactly how this imagery is being utilized by the Russian Kabbalists to dupe Americans into embracing Christian nationalism, which acts as a fifth column for the Russians to set up Americans to hate themselves and welcome the idea of an apocalyptic war between the Leviathan of the United States and Great Britain and Russia. And at the same time, these Russian Kabbalists are priming the Russian people to clamor for an apocalyptic nuclear war against the West. And they are calling the West the Antichrist. And these Christian nationalists are themselves calling the West the Antichrist and calling for our annihilation. They are both traitors and uh, some of them are knowing fifth columnists working for the Russians to kill us all off. Uh, one of their primary agents is Donald Trump who is being portrayed as if Cyrus, the anointed, Christ means the anointed. Messiah means the anointed. And Isaiah chapter 45 verse 1 says, Thus saith the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have holden, to subdue nations before him, and I will loose the loins of kings to open before him the two-leaved gates, and the gates shall not be shut. Cyrus uh, allowed the Jews back into Jerusalem to rebuild the temple, and that is what Donald Trump is trying to do. He is also out to destroy NATO for the benefit of the Russians, uh, to weaken the effort to defeat the Russians in Ukraine. He was involved in that effort long before Vladimir Putin um, 
launched his multiple front war on the Ukraine. So we really have to be on our guard against this uh, Christian nationalism as well as against Christian Zionism. They are both trying to drive us towards an apocalyptic nuclear war with Russia, which is complete insanity. Um, just as Christianity tries to mislead human beings into believing that they are inherently evil and guilty of the sins of others, Christian nationalism wants us to believe that the West is inherently evil, is the Antichrist, and that the only salvation to be had is for the West to be completely exterminated, for uh, you and me to be killed off, for our children to die in a nuclear holocaust. At the same time, the Russians are priming the Russian people uh, to instigate this nuclear attack on the West almost every night on their uh, state-run propaganda. They have these propagandists calling the West the Antichrist, saying that the Russians, though they themselves will be annihilated, will go to heaven. And therefore, it is a uh, divine battle following the God's divine plan and that the Russian people ought to fulfill it. Um, it is my sincere hope that this has been enlightening and will inspire people not only to understand what is happening, but for us uh, to join together politically and to begin to act to expose this religious war against us, which is falsely portraying us as if we are the Leviathan that has to be destroyed by the behemoth in order for uh, all of the prophecies of the Old Testament to be fulfilled. These prophecies were always uh, subversive plans expressed in code. I hope I am helping you to understand what these codes actually mean, how ancient they are, and how consistent they are, all the way from the book of Job to Isaiah, uh, through the New Testament, to today, to the works of Alexander Dugan. This has been a very consistent plan to pit two massive forces of Gentiles against one another in a system of mutually assured destruction where they go to war with each other, uh, kill each other off, and leave Israel standing at a feast to feast on their corpses and spilled blood. It is my devout wish that we can stop this and prevent this from happening. I sincerely believe that we can, but in order to stop it, we're going to have to act, and that action has to take the form of political action. We need uh, some kind of reasonable presidential candidate in the United States, and uh, we need leading candidates around the world instead of people like Macron and Le Pen in France. And um, what is going on in Turkey is another manifestation of this. We need serious political people who are not beholden to these forces and who are not deliberately fulfilling this ancient plan to create a war between the Leviathan and the behemoth, which will consume both sides and kill us all off. Thank you very much for watching. Again, uh, I am deeply, deeply uh, grateful to those of you who have contributed. I never would have been able to conduct this research and make this video, and I have some more really um, very important videos coming up shortly, which reveal the research that I've been doing to produce uh, volumes three and four of my series, Satanic Secrets of Jesus Christ. It's really incredible uh, how consistent this plan is and how once uh, the codes are understood, it all fits together. And um, what they have planned for us is not good. So uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, stay tuned. Um, as I said, I'm going to be exposing how the Armenians were set up for their annihilation, how uh, Alexander Dugan and others were involved in that, and um, uh, a video on the separatist movements 
that the Marxists try to inspire around the world to um, fulfill this plan to set up the Leviathan and the behemoth against each other. I'm also going to be making some videos where I'm going to reveal some of these secrets that I have decoded in volumes three and four of Satanic Secrets of Jesus Christ. It is really mind-blowing stuff, but it all becomes so clear, and it, it really fits together um, not only the Old Testament and the New Testament, but also all the Kabbalistic works and the apocryphal texts, uh, both of the Jews and of the Christians. So please subscribe so you don't miss any of that. If you would like to contribute, there will be uh, contribution links in the description below and on my website, cjbbooks.com. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.